Hi everybody and welcome to Fridays here on 25 Vlogs of Christmas. Fridays here during the 25 Vlogs of Christmas on Tommy's channel are fill-in Friday and who better to have fill-in this week than me? Brad, aka Brad Lives, aka Brad So Hood, aka Braddy Lewinsky, Braddy the Ninja, Braddy the Boss, Braddy the Harajuku Barbie. Like I don't even know why you girls is bothering at this point, like give up. I'm me, I win, you lose. <laughs> Oh shit, yo, that happens sometimes. I'm gonna guess that the vast majority of you have no idea who I am, but I don't really care. The reason I'm here is because it's me and Tommy's one year friend anniversary, just as it was Tommy and Ava's one year friend anniversary last week. That means I'm here to celebrate all of the great times Tommy and I have had over the past year. Except none are coming to mind, so instead I'm gonna do something that Tommy would do during the 25 vlogs of Christmas, and show you my favorite holiday themed beauty secret. Here we are in the kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to go from this to a moderately better looking version of that. Supplies that you'll need. A pot of water, four-ish candy canes, a hammer, and a bowl of chocolate that you won't mind ruining. I chose Whoppers because they're Satan's candy. First, put your water on the stove and set it to a medium temperature to get it boiling, but not boiling over. Next, finally crush your peppermint candy canes with the hammer. Here we are in chin cam. After you've done that, you can painstakingly open each and every individually wrapped chocolate and pour it into your bowl. But ain't nobody got time for that, so I have a razor and I'm going to cut the Whoppers. Cut. Here's your bowl of candy, which looks like rabbit feces. Now our next step is to place our powdered candy cane into the bowl with our Hell spawn. Don't breathe this. Four candy canes is about sufficient, depending on how beautiful you want to make yourself. Now if there's one thing that Paula Dean, God rest her soul, has ever taught me, it's that you never put chocolate directly on a burner. So we're gonna place it in our pan, and we're gonna let that, um, probably melt the bowl because it's made out of plastic, which I just realized. You have an interesting double boiler going on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Don't melt them. That's what I thought after about five seconds. And it was Are you like, drunk? No. Oh, sorry. I don't know if those things melt. I don't think those things melt. They melt in your mouth. Yeah, I think you're gonna need a potato masher or something. Or a magic bullet. I'm a genius. What if I use the whole the rack? Are you sure you're not drunk? Look. So we're gonna have a potato masher. So I grab the next best thing, which is this rack of things. I'm not sure what helped more, the milk or the masher. Ah, I burned myself again! You've probably by now reached the opportune consistency to apply this to your face. Doesn't that just look scream supermodel? Mm-hmm. Just, wow, you can just reach your hands right on in here and you can grab a fist, oh my god. We're gonna grab a fistful and apply liberally on the facial region. God, I'm gonna be pretty. Now that you've applied your minty chocolate face mask, you are you are pretty much set for the holidays. You're gonna be the best looking at all the Christmas parties, all the Kwanzaa get togetherings, and all the Hanukkah menorah light. Oh my God, I feel disgusting. Anyway, Tommy, happy friend anniversary. It's been a fun year, and it's been a very interesting year. And I hope that we stay friends for a long time. So if you liked what you saw here, and why wouldn't you? You can subscribe to my personal channel at youtube.com slash bradlibs. Enjoy your holidays, and treasure your friendships. Bye! Oh, you know what? Why did you do that? Because it was funny. <laughs>